I'm Rob Menzies and welcome back to my channel. We are here in the middle of June 2022 and we are heading off for yet another No Limits track day. Today we are heading off to the fantastic Cadwell Park and I'm going to be doing the usual. I will have the GPS turned on on my GoPro. Uh, we'll basically then be able to look at all the telemetry using the uh, race techno and I'm also going to be out there using the small boys track hire bikes and we'll be on the Kawasaki 636. So come with me as I guide you through all the different sessions, walk you through all of it and enjoy the ride. Okay, so I'm here at Cadwell Park and behind me here you can see the entranceway coming into Cadwell. Uh, I'm getting ready to go out on to my next session, but I would never do so without my trusty Heli airbag vest. Uh, this thing is absolutely fantastic. If you are a track day rider, a motorbike rider on the road, or alternatively if you ride horses, you're probably going to want to check this thing out. It's going to give you an uber amount of protection should the worst happen. Now I've got a link for you down here below that will give you 50 pounds off any purchase that you make and give me a little kickback to help with the servicing of this vest. Um, I'm just about to get into the next session and let me tell you all about it. So we're here at Cadwell Park and I'm just about to head out onto the seventh session of the day. Um, after my little sleep and missing session five, I'm still fully rejuvenated and ready to go for this one. And I really enjoyed this one. So uh, not many bikes on track. We've got a reasonably cool air track. Um, the interesting piece is most of this session, I'm trying to catch up with uh, someone that also hired from small boys track hire bikes. But unlike me, rather than being on the ZX636, he actually took out and was on the Gix 1000 and I'm trying to see if I can stay with him, which I kind of do, but he's going to be a bit of a speck in the distance for most of this session, unfortunately. But we get some great lap times. This is the fastest lap time of the day. I get down to a 1 minute 46, which I'm really, really happy about. So let me show you all the analytics. We'll show you the overlay of that great lap um, and then we'll then guide you through the rest of the lap and all the fun we have. So hang on for the ride. Okay, so this is the analytics for the seventh session, and uh, let's just give you the overlay of uh, what we're looking at. So top left-hand side here, we have the heat map of the track, where once again, we see uh, the colouring in blue is the slower sections, raising through to the colourings in red being the quicker sections. In the middle here, what we then see is basically the lap times and the sector times, and you can see lap seven is the quickest lap of this session. It's also the quickest lap of the day, being actually about a second away from my quickest lap ever that I've done around Cadwell Park at 146.6 and what we're going to compare that with is the out lap on lap 1 at a 151. Over on the right hand side here we can then see both of those laps side by side so uh, the white uh, image that you see here is basically the quickest lap and the red one being the slowest lap at lap 1. If we then come down to the bottom here as usual you can have a look at the speed, the power and the lean angle and we can then see the curves as we go through the lap and see where we made up the difference. Now as you can see these are very very similar, there's not a lot in it but as we start getting into the detail what we can see is um, a particular section after the start, after the main kind of straight, um, we then seem to be a little bit quicker in that braking area. Uh, what we then also see is we're coming around the long curve, um, we can see actually on the red one there was a bit of traffic that was around which obviously slowed us down a little bit which meant that we carried more speed through that whole corner section we were able to go a little bit quicker. And then also the final piece, just as you go over the top of the mountain, you've also got another little piece there as well. So that gives you an overview of the main kind of telemetry. What we're now going to do is move on to seeing the fastest lap in a live environment with the telemetry overlay. And then once we've done that one, we will take you into the full session to let you enjoy. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please remember to not only like the video, but also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching, and see you again soon.